Welcome to Cattle Sense. I'm your host, Penny Bowie. Today, I'm excited to have Neil Height of Height Diamond H Beef Masters from Mount Eula, North Carolina, joining us. He has a Beef Master production sale coming up on Saturday, October the 19th, and we will be diving into all the details. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and share this episode so we can grow our herd of viewers together. Welcome to Cattle Sense, Neil. Well, thank you, Penny. I'm glad to be here. It's great to have you here. And from the moment you entered the Beefmaster industry, we you really made a mark traveling across the country to attend sales and visit ranches. Your accolades speak volumes for themselves, from being named BBU New Member of the Year to serving as President of SEBA, your keen eye for cattle and exceptional breeding skills truly sets you apart. By observing what other breeders are doing, you've crafted a vision for your own top tier beef master program. Let's start with your journey. Where did your love for cattle begin? Well, uh, my love for cattle began, I guess, when I was born. Uh, my first memories were knowing that I needed to get potty trained, so I'd go with my pa to uh, the sales that he'd go to, and I really wanted to go with him. I, sh I sure thought a whole lot of him and, and still do. A uh, very, very influential person in my life, and, you know, as were my uncles that race stockers and do a lot with that, but, but certainly got uh, involved by doing that and going with somebody that had an eye for cattle and and helping him select, being the oldest grandson, I was able to help him select uh, the calves. Um, we'd go to graded sales and, and pick out steers for kids to halt or break and show and, you know, work with, with that as, at, you know, as I got older and, but was always very involved with that and loved it. And I loved trying to find the best one because I knew he knew which one was the best one. And he basically trained me to do the same you know it got to where he mm -hmm. would just expect me to do that and I, and I learned from the best I really did and very humbled by the the things that I was taught there but but they've been influential for me for from then on so what drew you to beef masters well I guess whenever I got a little older and um, I worked really hard to try to have my own place and started really small and saved and put my mm -hmm. my goals together to be able to to do that, what I had always wanted to do. And so I started with some, uh, with a smaller operation and, uh, was very critical and selective about what I used and used other breeds and different genetics. But I found the beef master to be the best animal. Um, I love the way that they tended their calf. And when I found the calf, I found the cow and so forth. And I learned to see that they could, could grow and outperform other breeds and I then focused really on the maternal side of what Beefmaster could do and realizing that I felt like my niche could be the guy that could make these great bulls that could go out and work for lots of folks. And then of course, in doing so, I really wanted to make the best animal that I could that would work in all phases for guys that are trying to breed commercial cattle, but also guys that are in the seed stock side trying to make the best one. You know, I'm very, excited to be a part of that and, and want to be the one that does that. And so we're always looking forward and thinking multi-generations ahead as we plan matings and and having females that can produce those type of bulls are really important to me. And, um, you know, we're fortunate that we have a lot of them. And in this offering that we're going to have here, it's, it's packed full of them. That's why I'm very confident to stand behind them. I, I'm excited for people to see them. I just, I just love Beefmaster and, and certainly I'm excited about all the, the friends and folks that support us and, and uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful breed. I've been up there taking pictures and it's real easy to get to your place. Yeah, it, it is, Penny. Um, we, we love this part of the country. It's what we call the Piedmont here in North Carolina. So very mm -hmm. centrally located. I mean, it's easy to get to as somebody wants to fly in to come to Charlotte or Greensboro and we're less than an hour away, but we've got I-85 and I-77, of course, running parallel and we're right in between them. So it's 20 minutes that way or 20 minutes this way and, and 40 is just north of us. So very easy to get to. Here in Mount Ola, we're in agriculture area, uh, rural and it's really pretty. You know, Lake Norman's not far from here. A lot of cool stuff to look at. 
uh, some old towns to see. So it's it's a good place to be. But you know, we're a couple hours away, shoot down to the beach if we want to, and a couple hours go up to the mountains, and it's a uh, you know a, a really cool place. Now speaking of the mountains, you know we've got friends, of course, that we're helping and trying to help with supplies and different things, and those people definitely were affected. But here in our area, we you know we were not. So talking about the community of Beefmaster a while ago, you asked about. You know, love for Beefmaster. Well, also, you know, the Beefmaster people are just wonderful, and all these folks that have called me and asking to check on me, you know, haven't been here and don't don't know exactly where I am. It's, it's great that uh, that those folks care. The damage and so forth is is not right here where we are, but they're certainly our friends too, and we we care a lot about trying to help them, and we look to uh, extension agents and folks that we trust and help those people in ag. So, um, but but yes, fortunately for us, we're we're right here in a beautiful part of the world and things are just rocking right on and and uh we love north carolina and mount all is a great place well let's bring on your sales team for your beef master sale we have bruce robbins with robbins cattle consulting and marketing and trey shear of strategy cattle howdy cattlemen hey penny how you doing penny uh sorry i don't have my cowboy hat i'm down here in mexico getting some treatment so you know just excuse it that's all right i can get used to that cap neil has established one of the premier beef master programs in the eastern united states his progressive ranching operation is poised for continued growth and producing top quality beef master cattle while raising the next generation of young ranchers this region offers an ideal environment for beef master cattle and neil's commitment to excellence will only enhance the breed presence here well hey penny you know, i'm really excited about working with neil hyatt and the hdh program up there in north carolina it's my first year to be part of the team one of the things that uh you know i love about neil hyatt's story is it's so heartwarming and organic from a true beef master standpoint it's well how cattlemen ought to get in the breed you know he comes from a commercial background he studied his notes he looked at the various breeds he let the cattle tell him what the right breed was going to be and what to raise and then he took the points that he liked of them and just kept emphasizing that making those stronger really making that the heart of his program he didn't just was born into it or was influenced by a friend to get in a certain pedigree or certain types of cattle. He went out and just made the best. And uh, you'll see that in his program. You'll also see his uh, detailed orient, uh, uh, oriented details on this. He's uh, the whole catalog is full of great information. Most people just put a few notes. They do a little bit. Neil's cattle in his program, he goes in and everything is dna everything is scanned everything has horn and color coats and he goes to the nth degree to make sure it's all right because of that background of, of the need to make money the need to make it relevant and the need to push the needle forward and i think he does a great job of that i'm super looking forward to working with him here in a couple weeks yeah and i just have to come right behind with what trey says my advantage was I met Neil a few years earlier and I've had the fun and excitement of putting a lot of that stuff together there at the ranch. We, when we went up there, we spent many an hour riding around there talking about where are we going to do this sale? And we went and looked at different facilities. We looked at places, but Neil's ranch, his place, it is perfect folks. If you haven't been there, you've got to go there. There's no better feeling than driving down that darn driveway. I'll never forget it. Neil and I rode down. We made that turn. I said, bud, it's got to be right here. And Neil's go get it attitude said, okay, I'll fix that barn right there. Well, there was half a building there. And I thought, <laughs> there's no way this guy can do this. But, <laughs> but he kept telling me he could. And his can-do attitude is exactly what backs this program up everything that he decides to do he's 150 percent into it we laid out like even where he was gonna pin the cattle before the sale we had some rough areas and some areas we didn't know it worked he fixed them he got them set up he put up hot wire. i mean this man's attitude is awesome and it falls right in line with his cattle and his breeding program um anybody that hadn't met neil work with neil come to see neil you just have to do it. It's it's a world of fun. That's the way I'm going to put it. 
we sure do like to have fun. That, there's no doubt about that. But but what makes it a lot of fun is having a team like you guys. I, I can't thank you enough for being involved. You know, we're we're a team that likes to work together and work off each other's strengths and look for points to improve upon. And and I think that's what you have to do to work really hard to be better at whatever you are. You have to be goal oriented and you have to set a plan and you have to work the plan and from a lot of team sport background, I mean, you know, I, I love it. And being on a successful team is what I like. Whatever role I need to play to help us win, that's where I am. And uh, throwing the ball and chasing it uh, and then getting there and be kind of proud of it there for a minute, but then throw it again. And uh, you guys helped me do that. And I, I thank you a lot for that. And, and hearing you kind of recognizing that in me is, is pretty cool. Uh, it's what we do with our cattle. I mean, that's why they are what they are. It's why we're so excited for everybody to see them. There's been a lot of plan. We didn't just have babies. I mean, we, we've planned these things out for a long time and uh, really excited to show them to you. Well, hey, guys, I've been up to see a sale cattle, and they're looking fantastic. It's tough to choose the best of the bunch because the quality is so consistently high. Let's head out to the sale pen and check out a few of them. This first lot is a pick lot, lot 1A and 1B. Hey, Penny, let's uh, talk about these cattle. What an exciting pick. You know, I went out there to see Neil and talk about the cattle, and uh, we were slipped over to the baby pen. I think he was trying to hide them from me for a second. I said, Neil, right here. Right here is where we got to start this sale. He said, well, babe, that's the future of my program. I said, the future is now. Now's the time to get in on these heifers right here. And what an exciting pick it is. I mean, you got Revolution and Cruel Girl bringing in Bell and Sugar Britches and all of those breed greats. You're going to see it in this awesome pick. You know, Neil doesn't think about the first generation. He thinks about the second and third and fourth generations. And that's what it takes. And right here, you can take that forethought and put it to work for you. The 1A heifer coming at you right here of the pick, probably the finessier heifer, the harder line heifer, really expressive in her muscle. You see the length of spine, the angular front, all the great things coming out of that combination that revolution brings in with his great cow families. And then when you bring in Bell and Bridges, you're putting Oasis on top of that great Bell cow going all the way back to Sugar Pie. Just an amazing heifer in the lot 1A. And then the data as well. But, you know, flip on to the 1B heifer right here. Probably the softer heifer, the more broody heifer, the easier bodied, maybe a little more fluid. You see the udder and just she just screams mama cow, right? It's easy to get excited about these kind. And then you go to the data on these heifers. Big 120 something dollar T on these females. Then you got the dollar M, the FE, the actual performance. And they weren't scanned yet by catalog time because they were too young, obviously, by their age. But Neil's planning to try to have that to you by sale time because we want to get all those details in that he's so serious about. But an outstanding pick of heifers right here. Again, he's probably not going to sell but one. So jump on this offering. Get one of these. These are top, top end donor prospects. Lot number two coming on the screen right there. It doesn't change. It's the same thing that Trey was talking about. He went into these yearling heifers. You saw those first two in that first pick. Now you're going to see them again in this second pick. Again, lot two, don't plan on him selling more than one. He'll have that scan data for you. Masterpiece. Captain Jack and Oasis on that top side. And then coming on the bottom side with Destiny's Child, the tremendous lovemaker daughter right back out of Destiny. You've seen what Destiny's done up there in the Next Gen program. Anybody that watched the Next Gen program the other night and then the bull sale the following day, you saw the flush, the bull sell out of that family. Neil has got that family working in this herd. And look at this beautiful female. My gosh, the depth of body, the angulation, the femininity, just the pure beauty of fluidity, movement, and the depth and flank and quality all over this female. And then you go 77 to 650, top 20% T, top 15% M, homozygous red. And now we can go to the 2B. 2B, same kind of thickness, same kind of length, a little different style, a little more destiny look a little more of that cut and thickness and power that you see in that destiny line of cattle, except go back to the numbers. Same exact thing. 
74 pound birth weight, 618 yearling. The consistency, the quality, everything you're wanting is in these two great females. These are absolute donor prospects. These are absolute individuals that will go dominate a program. Neil reached back and is giving you a shot at yearlings, but there'll only be one selling out of this one, I'll guarantee you, because there's big plans for the other one. Wow, what a great opportunity. And here's lot three, one of my favorites. Easy to be a favorite, Penny. I mean, you gotta love an own daughter of Belle. I don't know how much longer Neil's going to let us have own daughters of Bell. I would be hogging them back. Flint Rock on top of Bell herself right here. What an exciting opportunity. Full sister sold at the Flint Hills Classic last spring to Mark Lopez for 42000 This heifer is probably the bigger, growthier, more power heifer of this set. If I had to compare the two different age groups, this is in the younger group that was a little older. But look at the depth from, how to from the top of her back through her belly, the perfect underline, the perfect midsection length, soggy and feminine, yet bold. Tons of muscle in her. you got to love the female. But then think about Belle and what she brings in with that sugar pie line and code red and then on the top side flint rock we saw he just did like he was taught bruce was talking earlier over at next gen flint rock son sitting there bringing 165 175 thousand dollars the flint rock bell was the one that brought 42 that bull is proven he can work on this cow family time and again and you can go out and use this then you get the data beyond the cow families beyond the fertility you get the data as well the big dollar t up there at 128 the dollar m of 30 up there the high fe the big individual winning weight of like 700 plus on this heifer she's big and growthy and broody and you're just gonna like her she's gonna mate a ton of different ways and if you want to know how to breed this heifer go back and look and see what neil did in the lot one pick huh sugar britches or masterpiece or bring some oasis in here this is a no-brainer money maker right here love the lot three all right let's go to lot seven lot seven doesn't let it up at all take a look at the bottom side another bell daughter and like Trey said, I can promise you, Neil has talked about it. We are trying to cabbage back a bell daughter out of every different bull that he's working her to because she is that good a cow. Look at this female walking across the screen out of that CJ, CJ's Fireball Bull, EMS Ring of Fire, and CJ Eye Candy, Justice Milky Way. Of course, that eye candy a sib to the great game day bull at JT Farms. You've seen the consistency of that line of cattle now combined back with the awesome power and predictability of the great bell cow. And again, homozygous red, pole, 18 months young, 67 pound birth weight, 660 on that weaning, bumping a 10 on that ribeye, bumping a three on the IMF, Taller T at 3%, dollar M at, at 3%, feed efficiency 15%. You wrap all those numbers, you wrap all those genetics, and then look at the cow, guys. Tremendous length, style, quality, everything you want. And this red and pole thing is hotter than a $2 pistol. This is the kind to go put in your breeding program. This is the kind you can build a total breeding program around. Well, let's take a look at lot eight there. Look at that beautiful female. Yeah, you said it all there, Penny, when you said beautiful female. Eight is the mama cow package. When we look at eight, it's all about the mama cow here. Look at the broodiness, the depth, the softness, the stride. You can just say mama cow. Imagine that little udder when it fills up, how gorgeous of a cow it is. And she is slick, slick pole. Look at that head shape. How often do you find pole cattle with this much body and mass and broodiness and muscling combining it all? But then when you go to the information pedigree, you see why revolution on my vision down there visions memory sorry visions memory bringing in vision and deja vu with infinity an oasis think about the greats in that line with an oasis infinity going back to sugar in and then with vision you get the penelope the 293 cow family everything that homestead did that great line of madam x cattle going all the way back to phantom himself that is loaded mama cow on the bottom. And then on the top side, you get Brennell Baby of Soul. You get all those greats from Clark's program, some of his best cows on the top side. And then on the bottom side, you get famous cow lines. Like I said, this heifer is all about the mama cow. 
this is where you go and put those pole performance bulls on her and ground them with a great female like this in lot eight. Now, I thought lot 19 had a lot of balance to her. Yes, she really does, Penny, and I think she's a great representation of what you're going to see. We've been showing you all these beautiful reds, but Neil's got some of the best black cattle you're going to find across the country. You look at the length. Just look at the length of body in this female, length from hooks to pins, length to side, length to front, and then look at that power. You can see it in her. You can see the thickness and the meat from end to end, the spring of rib and that overall balance, and she's still super fluid in that movement. She's 18 months young, going to be ready to breed. Homozygous black, heterozygous pole out of that Gulf Stream bull, of course, the Mac Black Ruby combination that Neil has here, owns a bull. You've seen all this great Gulf Stream product. And then back out of Southern Heat, the Ace of Spades and J&T Farms breeding on that bottom. This female exemplifies a lot of style and cut and quality that you're going to see throughout this sale offering and all of the cattle, but as much as any as in the Blacks. 68 pound birth weight to 660 on that weaning, bumping 11 on that ribeye, dollar T top 20%, dollar M top 10%. And that feed efficiency again, number that people don't talk about is throughout this herd in the top 20%. This is another powerful young open heifer. And look at this charm right here. Look at that. She's got so much yeah, meat. Yeah, I mean going right to the bread heifers moving into that big soggy deep red gentle powerful bread heifers everybody's gonna like this Doughboy on the top side bringing in McAllister, bringing in bell that's where the mass is coming from in this heifer you see that rib shape that rear end that we get out of Doughboy and bell combined and then on the bottom side look at what we've got all over again vision and the oasis clone down there it just hits every time again Great cow families on the bottom with Vision and Oasis and 293 and all of the stuff we love on the bottom to ground these cattle out. Know we're going to get the classic Beefmaster Mamas, but then on top, Doughboy brings in the performance and the pole with Mac and Bell. Love that about the female. Again, like Bruce said, top 25, top 30 percentiles for dollar M, dollar T, good feed efficiency, good data, low birth weight, just an awesome heifer. And then Neil topped it all off by putting Gulfstream in the belly. I can't wait to see the Gulfstream calf coming out of this one. Powerful, red, have the performance. I saw the Gulfstream calves on the ground at the ranch myself at two and three months of age, and I thought they were four and five months of age. They were big and growthy and fresh and young, and I think that's going to come out of this heifer. Looking forward to this one right here, Lot 24. And look here, folks, Lot 35. Yeah, we just wanted to make sure you did. You understand that all the power wasn't only in the open heifers. This set of bread heifers that they put to, that Neil's put together for Trey to sell and me to help work on this year is just phenomenal. Again, look at the length of body. Look at the strength of top, the femininity, that square hooks to pins. It got that beautiful no underline coming right back up, black and pulled. Just 23 months young, she was AI'd up to the mile high bull, the great bell son, and then cleaned up with Liberty Bell, the other bell son. So either way you go, you're gonna get a bell, some bell in the belly of this great fireball daughter. Again, another fireball, ring of fire, eye candy as we saw earlier, but on that bottom side, back to that Max Diamond female, the great Mac daughter, back out of Diamond Marquee, the dream catcher, Diamond of Soul, that Diamond Marquee, I guess was one of the first cows that next gen reached out and bought as a true donor female from Clark Jones. But that family consistently knocks out the right kind. You can see it showing up in this female. And then here's the kicker, 68 to 580 to 800, 10 inch ribeye, 37 IMF, dollar T3, dollar M4, feed efficiency 15. These things are stacked up, built up, bred right, built right, right kind. This is the kind you can build a breeding program around, and they are here in lots of numbers. Well, lot 45 is that, look at that beautiful pair right there. Look at that heifer. You know, everybody loves a great fresh pair. And then when you put a heifer calf on side, it just gets better. This is what Beefmaster cows are all about. 
I'm still in shock that Neil's letting us have this one, Penny. A little secret here. This one's a mm -hmm. half sister to the great bell cow. This is Miss Sugar Bell on the bottom side. She goes back to that 1004 cow. Yeah, that's Bell's mom in there bringing in the sugar pie blackjack combo. And now you're going to get one. I asked Neil, I said, well, why are we letting this cow go? He said, Trey, we've got the bell cow family. Let's let some other people make use of this great line. Let her go out and work. It's a good opportunity for somebody else. I want to feel good about what we're offering and I'm going to sell the best. And he's really doing it here. Then you go to the calf, a double dip of sugar britches with the justified bull in there on top. You see that sugar britches look, look at the bone, the soft softness, the body, the hock. That little old heifer is an absolute doll. Whether you want to show heifer, a mama cow, future donor, you've got a donor dam and a donor baby at side with great lines bringing in sugar riches time and again, the whole bell cow family on the bottom side. And then to top it off, he bred the cow back and she stuck to AI to revolution. Think about that. Pulled could be another great bull like a Liberty Bell in the belly. Hint, hint, Revolution Bell. He did that again here. That's the combination. The little trifecta we're running over at HDH is Sugar Bridge's Revolution Bell, and it's going to hit every time. It's going to do it again right here, Lot 45, an exciting opportunity. Well, I tell you, he's got the cattle stacked up. Let's let's talk a little bit about his sale. You got to come to North Carolina to a high diamond H beef master sale on Saturday, October 19th. Sale starts at 10.30 a.m. right there at his ranch. Come check out the cattle the day before. And you sure don't want to miss that social at 6 p.m. He's going to have actually some farm-raised beef. And enjoying the evening with some great Western country music from Alan Laney. It's sure to be a fun time with great Beefmaster cattle and people. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're super excited. I mean, we, we just welcome you. I know we had a great time last year. Uh, you know, so many folks that came, you know, and were ecstatic and, and had just a big old time. I mean, we made some great friends. Uh, we saw some great cattle and, and uh, we've made some more new ones along the way since. And they're going to come now, too. So it just should be a big old crowd and a lot of fun. And uh alan does a great job with with entertaining there and it's a it's a good social atmosphere for that but certainly when we can look at this many quality cattle in a group together uh you know one of the, the cool things you guys talked about we we saw some of those lots i mean there's just a stack full of these great gulf streams and stuff bred to mile high and obviously you know the breed's learning a lot about liberty bell now and um you know with with what we're doing with max diamond and uh vision's memory and destiny's child and these cattle just work over and over and over. And it, it comes from, from looking at what other folks do, learning what we need to do, uh, making adjustments to try to make the breed better and to make the next best animal. And that's what I feel like you're going to see when you come here. Uh, and, and certainly we're going to welcome you and have a whole lot of fun doing that. We're really excited to see you here and, and welcome everyone. Yeah, going to be a beautiful fall day up there in North Carolina. Looking forward to it. The time of the year to get up there. Everything in his part of the world is completely kosher. Beautiful. Been up there a couple of times now. Gorgeous area. That's where y'all need to go. This is where the exciting things are going on. Hey, it's a new ground zero area for beef masters in North Carolina. It's a great little focal point there. Some neat breeders as well. It's going to be a really cool opportunity. I want to make a little reminder on that time you said, Penny, there. That's 1030 Eastern time. So all you central time zone Texans and so forth. Hey, remember that's 930 our time when you dial in so neil's a little ahead of time and he's a little ahead in this program as well good catch there trey i was waiting to say the exact same thing because the only thing that we had on last year's sales we had some of them central time zone folks call me up and say well i missed the beginning of the sale i said well wake up we're eastern you're central come on no we have a great time neil's a great host he's not only a great cattleman and put together a great sale offering as you can see it's going to be fun on top of it and i think that's the difference between a a lot of sales where you have great cattle and maybe not as much fun as you have in other places this guy knows how to treat you right you're going to be treated right the whole time you're there you're going to see some outstanding individual cattle i can't believe it uh what he's letting go of this year wish i could be there i'll be on the internet you know i'll be helping all i can Anybody that can't be there, you call me. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. 
so much of what we've done, we, we talk about looking at cattle and what folks do. And there's a lot of great breeders out there that we look for things that we then make our own and, and we've put it together very well. And ha with this team, you know, we're really excited to show you what that bec has become. You know, I'm thankful for my consigner friends that have supported us. There's a lot of guys that are, being, that are involved in the breed and um, we're, we're happy that they support the way we do business and, and are have excited with the type of cattle that they're raising now with, uh, you know, with utilizing our genetics. We get calls all the time. My favorite call is all these folks that call and, and tell me how great the, the success stories that they're having with the cattle that they bought from the past. Uh, I do expect it, but I'm always excited to hear it. And it's really cool because that just builds and builds and other people hear about that too. You know, we've, we've helped start a lot of guys. We, um, we try to work with people. We love to network and that's why we've made the offer here, you know, with me knowing what these cattle are going to do and feeling confident in how they're going to perform. I'm also confident to put behind that, you know, if you, if you buy one of these cattle that I can sign, you know, they're going to be eligible. Their females are eligible to come back. It gives folks a place to market. I mean, this is, this is a business and uh, having great cattle and having a great product allow you to be successful in it. And that is my experience and having a great team support me to do that. There's a lot of folks work hard uh, here at the, at the place and um, we're excited to show them to you. But when you buy them, we're still going to be with you. We love it. And uh, we'd love for you to bring them back and, and let's continue to build what we're doing. All right. Well, y'all know it's beautiful in his part of the world. Mount Eula is just north of Charlotte, North Carolina, up in the Piedmont area around Lake Norman. That's a beautiful lake, too. Come early and visit at a 10 Nils Beefmaster production sale. He's a great and fun host. To our Cattle Sense viewers, thank you for your interest in Cattle Sense. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can grow our herd of viewers together.